Hey YouTube, so I just want to do this video real quick. Uh, may hopefully help someone out that's faced similar uh, struggles with a uh, John Deere 5000 series tractor. Uh, this one in particular is a 5205. And I'm sure if you have any of the other 5000 series, 5405 or any of those like that, um, you probably ran into some similar issues, but everybody knows John Deere likes to make things that are proprietary to them where you have to buy the parts from them or uh, more than, buy more than what you need sometimes. They still might, I think they make a good product. This has been a great uh, tractor for me. I bought it used uh, about, I don't know, eight, nine months ago now. Um, had just over a thousand hours on it and it serves the purpose for what I need. But uh, the problem I ran into, um, the way this tractor is set up, the wiring harness uh, runs up under the tractor uh, as far as um, where the wires go to the fuel sending unit. Um, so with it being on the bottom of the tractor, and if you use your tractor like any normal per person does, uh, you're subject to run over uh, uh, you know, tree limbs, brush, uh, you know, thick weeds, things like that, that would uh, easily, uh, sometimes easily snag that wiring harness, uh, which happened in my case, the prior, that the prior, prior owner um, done this and it tore the uh, plug off of the fuel sending unit, which comes into the bottom of the fuel tank on these tractors. And I'm gonna show you this real quick. So I've had a headache dealing with this since I got this tractor trying to get my fuel gauge back working, but the plug for the sending unit is right there on the bottom of this tank. And I don't believe I'm gonna be able to get the right angle for you to see the odd shape of this hole uh, and the tight plug that it takes uh, the, to go back in there. But the two wires for, for the um, sending unit are just dangling right here. Um, so I started doing some research, went to John Deere, and of course they wanted you to buy the entire wiring harness for this tractor, which was ridiculous, um, for one little measly plug. And that plug being this one right here. Um, and that's the reason I'm doing this video, because I want to give a shout out to these guys right here. Uh, Heath at, uh, Crushing Ag Supply. They're out of Kentucky. Um, I, I, I found him by... Um, another friend of mine that works uh, for the local county uh, fleet department does a lot of repair to John Deere equipment and things like this. And he was telling me how he has to hold on to old wiring harnesses off of equipment that's no longer service serviceable um, in case he needs one of those plugs just because of that very thing that John Deere does with theirs. So that being said, uh, we, uh, are we when I reached out to my friend uh, that works at fleet, uh, he was able to pull a number off of the plug off of another tractor just like this one and we cross-referenced it I ordered the plugs the, they were the wrong ones but then I reached directly out to uh, Heath at Crush and Ag Supply it was a tremendous help uh, I told him what I was running into and he's, he understood my pain and uh, once I explained it to him and sent him a good picture of the sending unit and the tight plug uh, he made this one up for me with the pigtails and all the weatherproof fittings uh, but that base that's so that's what the end of this thing looks like and it, I mean it's, it's very tiny um, but that that is the plug and I'm gonna if you can see those numbers that right there is what you need if you uh, want to uh, if you need to get another plug for one of these tractors that's that is the plug there um, but if you reach out to him uh, he can get you the exact one, make it up, send it to you. There's our cat, Rodrigo. <laughs> um, he's making sure there's not any mice or anything hanging around on the tractor that don't need to be there. But uh, like I say, reach out to these guys. Uh, super nice, uh, very helpful, and got me the right plug and got my fuel gauge back working on this tractor. Um, so anyway, hope this helps somebody because uh, like I say, I've been... Uh, at my wits end uh, trying to find this plug this simple plug right here um, or somebody that could you know at least get tell me what I needed and every little electrical outfit I reached out to um, even I mean j even auto parts stores um, you know your Napa and ones like that they they had no way of, of, of uh, cross-referencing that so um, anyway um, like I said I hope this helps someone out and uh, good luck.